We said Jason and Matt are spending their morning going to the lake. The guys are in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin this morning, just across the river from Taylor's Falls, Minnesota. It is the second of our four summer road trips. Good morning. Hey, Kim. Good morning. Uh, we want to remove the suspense. We, yes. we teased something a solid hour ago, and I know everyone has been on the edge of their seat. That's right. Not trying to find out the answer to themselves. Part, part of why we're here this weekend is because Wanigan Day is going on in Taylor's Falls and St. Croix Falls. And uh, we had asked you guys if you knew what a Wanigan was. And uh, Kim's answer was something related to golf. Allie thought it was a bird. But we have the real answer for you right now. And Brian Anderson on Twitter uh, guessed it exactly right. Uh, the shack on a raft that loggers used to eat and sleep in while moving. It's basically uh, like a... Down the river. Right, so it's a floating cookhouse. Like a floating cookhouse. Exactly Wanigan Day. So they celebrate that uh, with a festival here over the yeah, weekend and a sure. parade. So really fun. All right, well, speaking of things you may not have known, that's kind of one of the cool things about these going to lake trips is finding some of those unique spots that are new to you. And right here in downtown St. Croix Falls, we found the Festival Theater. It is a professional theater group turning out big time shows on a small stage. Clamor with one voice, sparks, sparks. In a small building in downtown St. Croix Falls, a group of actors and directors are busy preparing for their next big show. We are doing our summer season right now, and we're starting rehearsal for our third summer production, which is Elephant's Graveyard. Each audience member will come in who they are, and they'll leave with the story who they are. Jason Richards is the executive artistic director. He moved from Texas to take this job and quickly realized he gained a new family at Festival Theater. The community is, is very supportive of this place. <laughs> Perfectly cast. I always joke with people and say, once you work at Festival once, you're a part of the Festival family. We will call you two years from now and say, we have a role that is perfect for you. It's that sense of family and community that first drew in technical director Peter Weber. One of the things I love most about Festival is the relationships that I've built from this. It's just like a big extended family. It's very tight-knit, it's very generous, um, and it's very caring about the arts, which is, you wouldn't expect it in a tiny town like St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. Girl, it is. For actors Emily Ahrens and Josiah Lobenstein, the small and intimate theater offers the perfect backdrop. You have to be very honest and very vulnerable at every moment because the audience sees everything. They're going to know right away if something's off because they're that far away from you, basically. Come out here and you're going to leave laughing or crying or thinking about it for the next three weeks, four weeks, the rest of your life. I mean, it's these little things that you'll see on this stage and they'll stay with you. Right now, the Festival Theater is performing a comedy. It's called Leading Ladies. Right. And that runs through August 5th. A week later, Elephant's Graveyard makes its debut, and that's the show you saw the cast and crew preparing for. So tickets for the Festival Theater will normally cost around 26 bucks. Kids under 13 are $13. Or kids, just in general, I suppose, are $13. Yeah. Uh, for more information on the Festival Theater, you can just head on over to our website, WCCO.com. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, Fantastic. super great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, hey, 